What is up guys, Truman here, welcome back to another video. So, I am happy to announce that I have had a massive surge in willpower and testosterone levels in the last three days. So, I have usually, I do a lot of self-sabotage, I do a lot of trying to get myself into a better position in life and it's, it's like just struggling sometimes, it's like I get up and I tell myself, oh I've really, really got to do this, it will really improve my position and I really want to do it. But then a little voice in the back of my head will say, oh no, there's no point doing that. And when I'm doing it, I'll try and distract myself. Until recently, when I, in the last 48 hours, have literally just sat down and done about 8 hours worth of revision and 8 hours worth of just studying to how to make videos better and do all sorts of other stuff for my channel. I am planning on expanding my channel, I'm expand, planning on growing my channel, but I need to actually learn the wisdom and learn the technical know-how. That has been pretty hard until recently, because I woke up one day and I just thought, screw it. <laughs> and I just sat down and I did all sorts of research into how to improve a video, as well as uh, more research into my own personal health affairs. And I've come out the other side thinking, where the hell did all this willpower come from? Now. There are very, very many reasons for this. One of them is going to be no fat. There have been many reports of people. The more, the longer and longer they do it, the different phases they they get into because they have actually broken a record. It's day seventy three. I have definitely broken a record, and so I can definitely feel that I'm going into an area that is unknown. So it is not uncommon. It is not unnatural for me to be experiencing an above average, norm, above usual levels of willpower. Um, and commitment to be doing a lot of the stuff that I need to do, including the self-sabotage. I could do something that would really improve my status and my position, or I could just sit and play World of Warcraft all day. And I can tell you, it's ma mainly been well until like the last month or so, it's mainly just been World of Warcraft. Yes, I play World of Warcraft. Shoot me, or join me at Sylvanas EU. Uh, still. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I wanted to talk about some of the science behind NoFap and just uh, clarify a lot of the stuff to do with testosterone because it wasn't just NoFap. I've also been taking a supplement that I recommend everyone take. This is Lugol's Iodine. Uh, it is heavily correlated with not only increases in willpower but also increases in testosterone. The reason why I'm not saying that this whole thing was only uh, iodine though is because I have been taking iodine for a while. It's just I've never got this much of a benefit in terms of like the different results that I've got until recently. Uh, so it's it's so uh, this is why this isn't like a, everyone should take iodine plug and no fat is useless. It's actually a combination of the two massive surges in more power. Um, I'm going to do something and show you the combination of my research. Wow, Morty, look at that, Morty. Um, so yeah, um, I have been doing some research into the science of NoFap because there are so many people out there who think it's a lot of BS. And I will just clarify and say, if you want evidence, most of it is going to be anecdotal. Simply because, one, no one cares. There is no huge interest in the scientific community to find out whether or not men can perform better when doing NoFap or not. Two, there's money in people not doing NoFap. The porn industry, for example. Billions upon billions of dollars. There's no, they don't want this research out. Three, no one cares. <laughs> and sorry guys, like, uh, this is this is a very common theme in, in one of my videos, is that a lot of people really don't care about men's health as much as women's health. Case in point, International Women's Day, I was going to make a post about that in itself, but I decided not to because rage. Um, I mean, yes, women can have their own day, but I don't remember Google or YouTube, but it was International Men's Day, plastering it all over the YouTube page and being like, hey, look, hey, look, everyone, men exist and they have real health needs. No, no one cares about that. So back to what I was saying. Um, this uh, is a study that basically, I know it looks boring, bear with me, I'll summarize it all for you. This is basically three weeks of sexual abstinence and showing the results. Um, without going through the whole papers, I'll just read you the, you, you the conclusion and you can look at the research, I'll put it all in the bottom. Uh, the data demonstrates that accurate abstinence does not increase neuroendocrine responses to orgasms, aka uh, abstinence does not change the way your brain reacts to an orgasm, but it does produce elevated levels of testosterone in males. That is the key point. It produces more testosterone. People are saying it's all a myth, people are saying all this, all that. No. You can look at the study right there, I will link it down for you uh, down below and you can have a look at that. It breaks it all out into the different studies and how long we did it. Now this study is only a three week study, so it's not, it hasn't actually gone on for that long, but uh, based on the anecdotal uh, evidence, all the different reports of all the people talking about NoFap and seeing how much it's, how much it's really, really helped them, um, shows that yeah, like 
this stuff works and now science is finally catching up to it. And the next one I'm actually going to talk about, this is quite funny because uh, as you all know, BuzzFeed, yes, um, I have not actually entered into the socio-political uh, ring at the moment because I have too much to say about it and I just want to get my channel off the ground without burning myself by saying something stupid. But as many of you all know, BuzzFeed is a absolute, it's, it's, oh god, sorry, yeah, BuzzFeed is just an absolute clusterfuck of leftist BS, uh, far, far left. Uh, website. Uh, now this is actually from the dailywire.com and uh, it basically shows that they got the average testosterone levels of these people, <laughs> these guys, uh, measured and not a single one of them is in the te normal testosterone range. In fact the highest person, this guy called Eugene, has 363 and the average testosterone for someone his age is 617. I mean wow. I mean, wow, there is a reason why they call them soy boys. Now, I, I'm fairly certain that before starting all this nofap and stuff, if I had my testosterone level, it would probably be around about that area, if not probably around about 400. I can absolutely guarantee now that, that if I were to get a testosterone test right now, it would easily be at least 500, above 500 or above. I cannot say that I'm totally free from, you know, that, that my testosterone level has been totally normalized. Because I come from eating a lot of junk food, doing a lot of stuff, doing a lot of non low fap and uh, just, you know, smoking and alcohol and stuff which wrecks your testosterone. But that's just an, that was just an interesting thing because it's, 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 it's scientifically proven that, um, that testosterone levels in men are dropping. This is why I am ramping up my message out there basically saying like, guys, we've got to get, our, uh, we've got to get ourselves together because we really, really can't keep, you know, basically living like this or by our, our testosterone, not only that, but sperm count according to uh, the independent or a study that the independent is citing plunged by 60% in 40 years as modern life damages men's health now I'll tell you a little story I work in a natural health and food supplement company and that food supplement company one of the main problems that, that we see men um, dealing with right now is they can't get a boner and it's kind of depressing because there's far far more men coming in with uh, sexual health problems than women now i can't i don't know whether or not it's actually the women because there is a big epidemic of women who are losing the ability they're losing their sensitivity because of prescription medications and bad diet and stuff but the thing is it's it's, it's always the guys that basically have to come in because I can imagine them being like oh this isn't satisfying enough and the guy being oh yeah it's my fault i'm gonna go get some penis pills uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, to increase my performance, and so this is why mainly we, we see guys come in, and it's quite funny because the guys they'll also, they will first of all they'll come in and they'll avoid all the women, and they'll sort of sidle up to me and they'll be like, so I've got this problem, right? And I'm like, oh yeah, I get it, I get it. You gotta you you can't get a bone, all right? Obviously, I wouldn't say that out loud, but yeah, it's kind of depressing. Um, uh, what's plunged by sixty percent in forty years as modern life damages men's health now. This is from processed foods, this is going to be from eating too much soy, this is going to be from lack of exercise, this is going to be even from overexposure to light and not enough sleep. Sperm count and testosterone levels are dropping people and we need to be doing something about it. Uh, addressing your life's problems in terms of getting yourself healthy, doing all sorts of other stuff, that will really help. So just, just wanted to show you guys that. And the last thing I'm going to show you is this. Uh, this is... Um, why I keep harping on about iodine is that there is scientific proof to show that iodine and testosterone are intimately linked and that uh, there is a definite correlation between iodine and testosterone. Now, for those who don't, that don't know, iodine is a micro mineral uh, that is a, uh, found mainly in seafood or you can take it in a supplement form. Uh, it is closely related to all sorts of problems um, including uh, mood issues, abilities to metabolize energy, hormone issues, all sorts of other stuff. But one of the things that I want to show you guys is how iodine affects your testosterone. Now, uh, iodine is found, as it says here, dairy products, milk, yogurt, cranberries, egg, potato, seaweed. My, the best way for me to, I quite honestly, just supplement with it. It's really, really cheap to buy. I bought this from eBay. It's a Lugol's solution. Lugol's is not a brand. I do not endorse brands, apart from the fact that I did just in, in, endorse eBay. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, you get improvements in quality of mood, sleep, and concentration. 
And just to show you the actual studies, uh, about a world, according to the World Health Organization, 72% of people suffer from iodine-related disorders. Now, there are so many reasons for this. One is the fact that they took out iodine out of bread. Uh, they, they, they took iodine out of foods. They are encouraging people to eat less salt. Salt is not bad for you. It is table salt that is bad for you. If you have good Himalayan salt or just another natural salt, that's fine, especially if it's iodized. Um, eat it, eat it. You can have it in large quantities. That's absolutely fine. But table salt, stay away from it. It's it's horrible. It wrecks you. Um, but iodine um, is uh, also responsible for uh, helping uh, control and control the growth and maturation of the human body, and basically regulates your metabolism. It regulates your hormones, basically. And onto the specific ones, it shows that. Um, the mineral also um, ensures efficient metabolism by combining with another amino acid called tyrosine to make thyroid hormones T3 and T4. So, um, once you have the uh, thyroid up, uh, T3 is responsible for testosterone production and low levels of T3 contribute to low testosterone. And just can kind of tell you right now, taking iodine really boosts my testosterone. In combination with NoFap, I think you've got a winning formula there to basically um, really, really boost your the gains that you get from NoFap. But anyway, yeah, just wanted to share just how much I've improved the, over the last few days as well as try like a different way of actually presenting this stuff. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know whether or not, you know, you like the video or whether or not you should continue. I don't really care. I'm actually going to continue with it anyway because I do like this form of presentation. Uh, it is based on a three surges in testosterone levels. Thank you for tuning in. I will leave all the links and stuff in the description if you want to check out what I've just linked. And peace!